All right, vegetables. In total, I want about two cups of vegetable mixed. And these, this is what I'm going to put into the roux to stop it from to stop the roux from cooking it so fast. I've got some onion. I've got some celery. Now the ratios, they're purely up to you. Don't don't get too excited about it's got to be this that. And I don't I, I kind of like some celery in there, but I don't like a whole bunch, so I don't put a whole bunch of celery. I've got some red bell pepper. Uh, traditionally, it would be all green, and I but I've got some green. Now you could you could put a jalapeno in there if you wanted to. Now, so we're getting pretty close to two cups here. Jalapenos are good. They show up in gumbos quite a bit. Anyway, that's just a little bit over. Well, it's close to two cups. We need a little bit more. A little bit more green onion, a little bit more green bell pepper, and I believe that's our veggie mix right there. All right, for our roux, like I said, we're gonna cheat a little bit today. We're gonna make this roux in the microwave. Huh? Yep, I said the microwave. We're not doing the stove top. We're not gonna sit there and stir it. This is gonna take us about 10 minutes to make. I've got one cup of oil. Now, the ratio is one to one. One oil, one flour. Now everybody tends to go by volume, one cup of oil, one cup of flour. The only problem with that is that puts you a little bit heavy on the oil side. So I've got seven ounces of flour. Now we're gonna have to whisk this in real good. Now I'm using a glass bowl and a metal whisk because we're gonna be because we're gonna be heating this in the microwave everything's going to get really hot. You don't want to be using a plastic whisk because when you stick it into the roux or the Cajun napalm, it'll melt your whisk. So that's why I'm using a metal whisk. We're getting it all incorporated. Here, that looks good. Now we're going to put this in the microwave for about five minutes. Now microwave times are going to vary. And I'm going to put this on the edge and let it rotate around. So, one, so after five minutes, as you can see, we're getting a little bit of color. We're going to want to stir this up again. Now we're going to go one minute at a time. And, and be careful not to burn it. But if you burn it, you can always start over. And remember, that bowl is hot. All right, this is six minutes. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but it's bubbling. It's definitely hot. A little bit more color. I'm going to need some more, that's for sure, though. We're not stopping there. Now, if you were just making a plain gravy, you could do that. You could use that right there. All right, this is seven minutes, and it's starting to thicken up. I can see things happening. The color is changing, and it's definitely smelling like a roux. I'm going to give this another minute. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that is, I mean, the surface is just bubbling. That's because it's hot. All right, now, look at there. This is really thickened up. It's got a nice brown color on it. A lot of the liquid has boiled off of it, I guess. Man, that looks good. I'm almost there. I could use this right now because this is a chicken and sausage gumbo, but I'm going to go just a little bit more. I'm not going to go a full minute. I'm probably going to go about 20 seconds more because I want just a little bit more color. Now, there's my roux. Stir this up one more time. Now, if I was making a wild, uh, like a, uh, a wild game roux, I would go a little bit more. I'd probably do it like 20 seconds and then 20 seconds again. But because it's a chicken and sausage, I believe I'm fine just right there. Now, to slow this down, dump our veggies in. You hear that sizzle? If you had any questions of whether or not that was hot or not, now you know. See that steam coming off from the moisture being released from the vegetables? We're practically making gumbo right here on the kitchen counter. And to be honest, you can. You can actually put your meat in here and your stock and everything, and you can throw it back in the microwave and heat it all through. But I'm gonna do it, on, I'm gonna finish it on the stove top. 